Hey guys, I'm going to take y'all back a little bit here and tilt you down so you can see this really quick. This is my Samsung Family Hub fridge. We got it um, from the Memorial Day sale from Best Buy. I have been watching this, sorry this is shaky. I've been watching this fridge for like three and a half years I think because I really loved it. I wanted it. This panel <laughs> made me nervous. I wanted to make sure that, you know, if you're something new like this comes out, new technology, generally we will wait a couple of years to kind of see how it goes. So, also the price has come way down on these since they came out. My friend got one a year ago. I've kind of watched and seen how she liked it. And then we finally bought a new kitchen suite and I decided I finally wanted to get my dream fridge. So like I said, I got this during the Memorial Day sale and I also changed up what I wanted on it. So what I mean by that is there's a lot of options for this fridge. You can get like four doors basically and you can turn the freezer into a fridge or one panel into a freezer, the other into the fridge. It does like all kinds of crazy stuff. That's the most expensive one, like really expensive. Then they have one that has a drawer like here on top of this drawer and then the two doors. That's kind of really what I wanted because I wanted that drawer for kind of a snack drawer for Jackson when he's a little older so he can kind of get his own snacks and stuff. But $600, <laughs> I didn't want it that bad. Really with the sale and getting this model, it did not make it that much more expensive than basic fridges like this without that. Um, so I, this is not like a technical review or full overview of the fridge. This is really just for the people who were super interested in it from my Instagram, um, mostly for my followers. I'm gonna show you guys overview of the hub and all that stuff. I'm just telling you because people always complain because they think it's some official review when I'm just trying to show my subscriber stuff. So I'm gonna jump right into that. So I'm gonna attempt to upload this from my phone. I think this notices when you walk in the room, but I'm just gonna hit this. So it wakes up. Um, I, if I sat there and did all this stuff, like speaking to the fridge, it would take a lot longer than just kind of telling y'all I'm punching buttons. I will tell you guys this runs on a system similar to Siri, but it's the Android one called Bix Bixby, which is what I have on my phone, my S9, and I really love it, which also helps sell me on this fridge. Um, so you just command it to wake up with, hi Bixby, play Pandora, so you can talk okay. to this, playing the station you most recently listened to, you can talk to this just, 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 just like your phone, it is super intelligent like your phone, um, and I don't know, what are those, I don't have those like, little things in my house that you talk to from Amazon and all that stuff. Um, but it, it's just, you know, it's a smart fridge. It's pretty basic, you can talk to it. So all the things I'm gonna show you, you can pretty much tell the fridge to do it. Um, so in the morning when I come down with Jackson, I will tell it to open my morning brief. And instead of having it do that right now, because it asks you, okay, who's listening? There's a lot of talking. Um, this, it, each of us have a profile, and you can adjust your brief to have whatever you want in it. I actually haven't, neither has Justin, because we pretty much liked the way the brief was set, though I might, you know, play with it and see. Um, I don't know if there's something else I like better. You can edit it here. So I'm just gonna start it so y'all can see what that's like. So I would tell it to open my morning brief. I would tell it I'm mom, my profile. Good afternoon, mom. Here is your midday brief. It is currently 35 centigrade or 95 Fahrenheit, sunny in Houston. Humidity is at 46%. Good news. You don't have any food item expiring in the next three days. Next is today's news headlines. So it's going to read through news headlines and we're not going to sit here for all this. So it does tell you food's expiring. I don't know how that magic works. I have a feeling it has to do with the shopping list. But it is so spot on. 
So shopping list, there's apps on our phones and um, so we can add something on our phone or we can add it through here and it, it's always on our phones and stuff. So most of the time when I'm in the kitchen is when I realize I'm out of stuff, which is why I love this fridge. Half the time, I don't know where my phone is. You guys, when I'm not vlogging, I can't tell you where my phone is. Half the time, I lose it all the time. So this has been, this whole system has been amazing for me. Um, Cause you can't lose your fridge. <laughs> so you put stuff on your list and you can, or you can tell it like, hey, add this to my list without touching anything. Like while I'm digging in the pantry, I'll be like, oh, I'm out of plastic baggies. And I can tell it to do that. And then, so when you get something at the store, you know, you cross it off your list. And I have a feeling um, that's how, okay, I need to add bananas again because we're out. Um, I have a feeling that's how it knows when something's expired because obviously you just bought it and the fridge knows kind of what the time span is on stuff when they are going to expire. That's just my theory. I don't really know how it works, but it works so well. You can also add pictures. Oh, another big thing is a, some stainless steel stuff is not magnetic. This fridge is. Hold that just not in the shot. This fridge is magnetic, just to let y'all know too. <clears throat> but you can upload pictures to it. You can actually have it playing a slideshow. We haven't done that because I like I'm cool with the thing that's in it. We just keep pictures of Jackson and the dogs like right here. Um so let's see, it connects to our front door bell. Um, if you have the ring, I believe you have to have the ring for this. And it's only, we have ring cameras all over our property, but it's only the front door it shows you, but it's really cool um, because it doesn't just show you. It's just like um, if you have the doorbell camera on your um, phone, it will do the same thing. So if somebody ring the, rang the doorbell and the fridge was just sitting there, immediately this will pull up like it does on my phone. I can't go ring the doorbell and all that because it would take forever. Anyways, um, it pulls up and then just like in the app for your like with your regular camera system, you can talk to them, you know, through your fridge so you don't have to go to the door. Um, and you can listen to them. Um, see right now it's just outside sounds. But you can also listen if you want to talk to them, if you want to hear what they're saying. So that's been really great because, like I said, I mean, sometimes Amazon will come and I, I like during nap time, I'm just chilling and I don't know where my phone is or I'll silence my phone because it's upstairs or whatever. I don't want it to wake him up. And it's really great. Or if I'm in here cooking and we're waiting for someone to have this on the fridge, it's just been like we've used that a lot. The calendar we use a lot because it syncs to our phones. Um, anytime Justin and I have something we put in the calendar and it'll go to our phones too via the app. Um, let's see, has the internet. Um, this is all kind of the apps it has. We use Pandora a lot. It has Spotify if you're more a Spotify kind of person. The weather, this is Jackson's favorite thing right now. Like this is his favorite. It's usually on the home screen. Um, so <laughs> we'll just delete that. It is like a drawing board. Let's see. Let's do some squiggles. You can change the paint color. Um, you can add emojis. So yeah, that is um, what's called the whiteboard. Okay, just go on. <clears throat> and also from there, I can send anything I just doodled on there, or you can send a memo. Um, to everyone in the family's phone or just one select person's profile. Like I could send one to Jack, Justin right now. It says dinner at this time. Um, it'll pop up on his phone with the app running on his phone. It'll pop up like a text message would, I guess. Um, all right. So if you have a Samsung fridge, this is not fridge, TV. This is not something we used a lot because our TV is within view of the kitchen because it's kind of really open concept in that area. But if it's not, or you have, which might in the future be helpful, if you have somebody watching TV in a different room, like if Jackson's in his playroom when he's older and um, he's watching something, where is the mirror? 
It's on here somewhere. It's like a mirror thing. So it mirrors to your TV so I can see what he's watching. If I want to watch what he's watching or I want to make sure he's watching something, you know, appropriate, whatever, um, I can see on here. And if your family's in the other room and you want to watch a movie too, but you're cooking, it'll pop up on here and it'll mirror the TV. Another great thing is you can tell Bixby without touching it that um, it needs to shut off the TV or it'll put like a screen up. And this is not If you go to like Samsung's YouTube page and put in like the video for this, it'll show you what I mean. But you can tell the fridge to like cut the TV in the other room. So if you're yelling, yelling at your kids, come to dinner, come to dinner, and they're not listening, um, you can tell Bixby to do it while you're in here and the screen will go up like blank and then, you know, no more TV time. <laughs> you better get your butts in here situation. So if you use Uber where you live, you can tell Bixby to order you an Uber. Um, there's Instacart, all this stuff on here you can do. There's recipe stuff. I use all recipes a lot on here. Um, there's just so much stuff it does. If you have your Pinterest, this is my personal Pinterest on here, so I'm not going to pull it up. Um, because I think my last name's on it, but oh, Smart View, that's what it is. Um, but you can pull it up and have your recipe open, which is always an issue with my phone because people will start texting me or whatever, and then the recipe will close and it just drives me crazy. So that's been something I really love on here. Okay, let's see. What's the one thing I wanted to show you guys? Where is it? So this I showed this to my friend when we first got it, and she was kind of like, uh, that's cool, but can't you just open your fridge? <laughs> Which is true. There is, where is it? Do y'all do this on your phone? You, like, open the big app thing, and then you sit there and stare at it, like, forever? Because that, that's me, like, all the time. Where is the inside view? Smart view is not it. There, right in front of me. Okay. This is more useful on your phone, obviously. Um, so, all right. When you have your phone um, and you're in the store and you can't, and my fridge is really empty, I'll explain to y'all when we open it. But if you open your fridge, um, I think the food list is over here. Oh yeah, we'll tell you when stuff's gonna expire, see? Um, oh yeah, entered today, entered today. All right, so, all right, when you open your fridge, or when you have your, open your phone, you can see what's in your fridge if you're like, oh, how many things of milk did we have? I can't remember if we had this or that. And it will show you an inside view, which actually has come in handy um, for us, which I wish we'd had a long time ago. Just another really cool thing I like. Um, so that's pretty much it. There's a ton of stuff this fridge can do. Like I said, if you're really interested, Samsung has a great video where it like in a very entertaining manner goes through all the cool stuff it does. And I think I found it on their YouTube channel. I'll try to link it below. This is going to be an instant upload from my phone. So I'll try to link it below if y'all want to see a much more professional, better overview of this fridge. So I'm going to go ahead and open this now. I'm going to pull this away. So this is kind of an overview of the fridge when you open the doors. I know... My fridge is empty. Everyone's always horrified. Okay, so it is, I'm in Texas and it is hurricane season. And if anyone's ever been through a hurricane where they lose their power and every damn thing in their fridge, they'll understand the financial struggle <laughs> that I don't want to put myself through during hurricane season. So I go to the grocery store like every three days during hurricane season. Um, we went through Ike and lost power for 17 days. Um, so that really shook me <laughs> that I know people like had a lot of flooding and stuff with Harvey. Ike was the hard one for us because my dad's house didn't flood. We were renting out their, um, back house. The house didn't flood, but we did lose power for 17 days and it was like traumatizing. Um, so I, during hurricane season, don't keep a bunch of stuff in my fridge except for Jackson's protein milk. I stock that up like so much so this twin cooling thing in the back um that is so a lot of times you'll hear don't keep your milk on the doors on a lot of fridges and that's because the doors actually stay pretty warm that area doesn't get as cold as the back of the fridge which can be really bad for dairy 
but this twin cooling system ensures that the whole fridge, even the front doors, are the same temperature at all times. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. I actually learned that after I got the fridge. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to get closer so y'all can kind of see the shelving situation. Okay, so this is the top area. And this shelf just pops down. So if you don't have tall things, you just flip it down and it just becomes one shelf. I really liked that because a lot of times with this style fridge, it gets... I don't know, it gets kind of weird with my some of my friends' fridges. I noticed like it's a struggle with taller stuff. So I really like that you have that option to flip it up. It's really easy. I'm going to kind of pull this away and show you guys right here. The other option is you can just, oh, that is the alarm to tell me that the door is open and been open too long in case you have kids and the door doesn't get shut. There's an alarm. So you can also put tall stuff right here if you want, but I prefer this because I like my big gallons of lemonade. Every week I make lemonade with fresh, fresh squeezed lemons and stuff. So I keep my lemonade towards the back because I feel like I'm clumsy that could get knocked over really easily. So um, oh yeah, YouTube followers that got upset, one of my friends got upset too that's out of state. Apparently not all Chick-fil-A's have mac and cheese. <laughs> One of my friends was really upset because she went and they didn't have it. Apparently they're just test running it in Texas, but we've had it for like a year. I don't know, it's like really random, but I told you guys on YouTube the Chick-fil-A had mac and cheese and some people were like super upset when they found out not everywhere. Okay, so see the alarm's gonna keep going off, so just ignore that. We'll get closer. Right there is our zucchini marinating for tonight for roasted zucchini this is just the fruit like our fruit situation um, and then veggies pretty standard um, low high or whatever or we can use the drawers for other things um, and then down here this video is gonna be a hot mess and then down here is just the cool select so this drawer is huge um, you can put a lot of different stuff in it. Right now, we still have beer from Jackson's birthday party um, last month that Justin's still working through. But I just keep, like, cheeses and, like, his yogurt and stuff in here and his little um, apple sauces. Uh, pretty much, I used to always use one drawer in our old fridge instead of fruits and veggies. I'd use it for cheese. <laughs> cheese but like I said I can go to the store every three days and just restocking stuff and really um, if stuff can stay stable in your fridge for a super long time that usually means it's super processed and we try not to eat too much processed stuff so the ice maker is right there um, and then yeah that's the inside I'm gonna show you guys actually one thing I forgot um, is, let's see, I'm going to show you guys my favorite aside from Pandora feature. And I know you can do this on your phone, but like I said, half the time I can't find my phone. You guys, when I made Jackson's three tiered cake, which was six layers, this came in so much handy for baking and it's come in so much handy for cooking. Like I said, you can do this on your phone, but I love it. Hi, Bixby. Set a timer for two minutes. Okay, I started the timer. I freaking love the timer because half the time, like every phone I've ever had, whether it's had Bixby or not, always, always goofs that up. Sorry, Bixby, never mind. Cancel. <laughs> I'd love to, but I can't do that yet. <laughs> it's like I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I just really like that feature. Da, da, da. And this is the freezer. It's a basic bottom floor freezer. Probably just pull it in closer. I keep the freezer much cooler because we have a giant cooler. And if we were to lose power for, I don't know, half a day because of a hurricane or a day, all this freezer stuff would keep Jackson's milk cold. And like I said, I keep a ton of milk in the fridge during hurricane season. 
because of this, that was because what happened during Harvey. He ran out of his milk and stores didn't open for like over a week. And that was just, yeah, he was not happy about that. So I keep a bunch in at all times. So yeah, this is just like the basic freezer situation. We keep that pretty stocked. Like I said, it'll keep his milk cold in case of a power outage. Okay guys, so that is my Sam Samsung family hub. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I took so long to post it. I'll show you guys my other appliances in my next vlog. I'm vlogging Friday. Um, so I'll show you guys the other appliances we got. I bought a Samsung stove. It's amazing, but I'll talk more about that. This was the only appliance I got that was like super, super in depth, in depth, super, what's the word? Super in depth kind of video. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video and I will go ahead and as soon as this is uploaded, I will link Samsung's video, which goes through a lot more stuff. All right.